Welcome back, guys, to Crypto Zip News, cryptocurrency and blockchain news, where we uh, passionately desire to compress so it's easily digestible the current news trends out there. And there later you can go and do deeper research if any of the topics um, are of interest to you. So, first up, we have Ethereum co founder says that Wall Street will pour in 20 trillion into crypto ethereum co-founder charles hoskin says crypto critics are overlooking the number of institutional investors waiting to pour their money into cryptocurrency according to hopkins hoskin uh, wall street is posed to invest tens of trillions after the next wave of regulation and he put the tweet out there. Um, so you can go ahead and look at Charles Hoskins' tweet. So we'd love to know your opinion about this. Uh, do you feel that this is something that is uh, definitely on the cards out of uh, Wall Street? Do you think that uh, they definitely will uh, pour huge amount of money beyond billions into the trillions into the cryptocurrency space? Please let us know. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Next up, this may be uh, good. some good news coming to uh, the hack, at uh, the recent hack at uh, Bitthumb. They're working with other crypto exchanges to recover the hacked funds. The uh, South Korean Bitthumb cryptocurrency exchange said Thursday that it may be able to reduce financial damages arising from the multi-million dollar hack earlier this week. In an update on their website, the firm said that although it was reported that losses were equivalent to $31.5 million in the, uh, the Korean Internet Security Agency, it may ultimately be able to lower the figures. It was stated. They go on to explain the cryptocurrency exchanges and others prevent further losses and retrieve the funds. And further adding that the exchange keeps company and customer funds separately. The update said that uh, the company believes that you can use Bitsum th safely. So we'll have to really, um, I'll let you go ahead and if you want to uh, dive deeper into this, because we are compressing the crypto news. And so I'd love to hear your thoughts about Fip Thumb. Do you think, um, would you invest in them? And uh, does it put you off uh, cryptocurrency? Love your feedback and love to hear what you got to say about that. And news has come out from Canada is closing up every way that he allows criminals to use Bitcoin for fraud. So just a few of the takeaway, it, the latest development according to the local news, Canada Press, the government is, uh, Canada is looking to develop measures that would make it impossible for a criminal to use prepaid credit cards or cryptocurrency aiding in Monday laundering activities in the country. And so that'll be very interesting what comes up uh, out of that. Uh, cryptocurrency tools of crime. So it'll be very interesting. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you dive in deeper, we'll leave the link down below. Uh, as this is Easy Digest. And next up we have a Litecoin founder, Charlie Bullish, on the new Litecoin futures. So recently Litecoin uh, founder, Charlie Lee, is excited about the potential impact of Litecoin up and coming uh, futures launch. Litecoin, Litecoin's uh, futures will be opened up on the LTC trading for more institutional investors, says Lee that this will aid add into the liquidity of uh, Litecoin and make it easier for people to get in and out of Litecoin. So that's other great news for Litecoin. How do you feel about that? Would you invest into Litecoin? Have you invested into Litecoin? Please let us know your thoughts 
and uh, opinion about Litecoin. And we also have news about Genesis Mining brings back popular Bitcoin mining contracts. Uh, have an interest in mining Bitcoin, but you don't know where to start? Well, Genesis Miners have a solution and they're expiring miners. Last week, the industrial scale miner announced it would return of their massively popular Bitcoin mining contracts which will allow customers to remotely purchase access to some of the world's most sophisticated mining hardware and algorithms. Miners don't need to do the mass wizard or be an IT geek or a cryptocurrency uh, ma madman. You just need to go to Genesis Mining. They're saying they're opening up. What are your thoughts about Genesis Mining in the last few months and the uh, disruptions they've been having and would you um, look at B uh, Bitcoin mining at uh, Genesis mining and next up we have what has changed at Mount Gox for Bitfum seven years down the line the cryptocurrency exchange Bitfum was hacked 30 million they say and that, the uh, hack occurred seven years ago, almost the same day that Bitfum was compromised, they're saying. The hack, uh, Mt. Gox, happened in, on the 19th of June 2011. It's a fatal day for security of the exchange was compromised. And the hacker used a compromised uh, company to access the exchange, artificially altered the value of Bitcoin to one cent. The hacker was proceeded to transfer 2,000 Bitcoin tokens from the customer accounts. Some investors brought Bitcoin during the hack and reported that six, 650 Bitcoin were purchased at the time. This was the beginning of a security concern for Mt. Gox and saw it go as one of the biggest, longest running hacks soon after. Starting in December 2011, Mt. Gox was hacked over two years, with hackers making a, a, over 850,000 Bitcoin tokens. And it also declared bankruptcy in February 2000. So we'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think uh, it's the beginning of the end for BitThumb? And... Uh, what are your thoughts about uh, these exchanges uh, with their credentials and their security uh, flaws there? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, and so the next up, we have Bitcoin prices are near bottom. Selling has become exhausted, says market strategists. A bottom of the prices can begin while everyone and their grandmother knows that Bitcoin is dramatic the decrease in value following the price slumping after 2017 December. Investors and traders are in first and foremost cryptocurrency are less aware of the decrease in volatility. Goes on into the article, significant upsides are long term. And uh, the bottom, they're saying, could be around 4,550. 4, what is your thoughts on this? Love to hear your thoughts. And do you think uh, 6,000 will hold? Or will it fall, fall down to 100-week moving averages? So we'd love to hear your thoughts about this. And some are saying that uh, they believe Bitcoin prices will expect it to erupt soon. And so it's very interesting time. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Uh, do you think uh, the experts are on the money about uh, the recent uh, downturns and the fluctuations, the bear market and the side trend with the Bitcoin? 
Love to hear your thoughts about it. And thanks you for being here with us today at Zip Crypto News, where we'd love to give you crypt down, crunch down news. And until next time, take care. And don't forget, our sponsor is Bitcoin Thrive Blazing. Please go to the link and uh, please feel free to look over what our sponsor has to offer. Thank you.